technology itself is a dual fuel system. We're never inhibiting the engine from operating on traditional diesel. The majority of the operation is actually going to occur on biodiesel. And so the way the product works, the driver is going to get in the vehicle, they're going to start it on uh, traditional diesel. Uh, as the engine warms up, we're using the waste heat from the engine to heat the biodiesel and the fuel system. And once the operating conditions and all the parameters are met, the system will engage, so the vehicle will switch over to 100% biodiesel, and uh, it'll operate on 100% biodiesel until the engine shut down. When the driver removes the key from the engine, uh, the system will actually keep the engine running, and it'll flush the engine and the injectors with traditional diesel. So when you go to start it up the next morning and it's say negative five degrees out, uh, you're actually starting on traditional diesel. And that process repeats. So when you start it up, it's gonna be on diesel, use the engine heat to heat the biodiesel, and when the conditions are met, uh, it'll automatically again switch over. The entire process is, is uh, fully controlled by the software. So there's no driver interaction that's necessary. From an operator standpoint, they're gonna get in and utilize the vehicle as they would on a normal basis. But uh, the, the difference is that for the first maybe 10 to 15 minutes, they're gonna be operating on diesel in extreme cold, and then it'll switch over to biodiesel. And then in the warmer months, it'll, it'll be maybe five to 10 minutes. The Optimus system has a few key components. So uh, typically we're adding a secondary tank. In uh, vocational applications, that tank is, act is, is typically split. So uh, we'll have a single tank with two chambers. So we'll have a diesel fuel tank and a biodiesel fuel tank. Uh, the biodiesel fuel tank tends to be a significant amount larger than the diesel fuel tank because we're dramatically reducing the volume of diesel fuel that's necessary to, to operate the vehicle. In addition, we've got a series of heat exchangers, uh, sensors, fuel filter dedicated for the biodiesel system, as well as uh, fuel pump and uh, an electronic control unit that automates uh, and controls the entire Optimus system, but also is in communication with the engine's controller. And uh, that allows us to optimize the performance of the vehicle, but also uh, in ensure that the system operates fully independent and autonomous uh, of the driver. So we've started to convert our fleet of trucks over to utilize the Optimus technology, which allows us to run our fleet on B100 year round. For us, it's really exciting, um, you know, not only for our sustainability and, and carbon reduction uh, initiatives, uh, but also just uh, from a cost saving standpoint. We haven't noticed any, um, any substantial changes in fuel efficiency operationally. Uh, there hasn't been any hiccups at all. So it's been really, really exciting as we get the, the technology fully integrated into our fleet. The technology that we put on the trucks has a lot of R&D behind it, about uh, 10 or 12 years there, so that, that helped boost our confidence. And then uh, just that we feel the need that we need to be on the forefront of, of moving forward to make our city um, carbon neutral as much as possible. And this looks like a great opportunity and, and I think our confidence level was high going into it. We, we selected five of our newer uh, dump trucks. They burn about 10% of the total diesel that we, we burn uh, throughout the year. They're a year-round vehicle. They especially uh, are important during the winter months for snow removal. So they were an ideal candidate. After the approval by the city council, and we, we talked about getting a schedule set up to put the technology on the trucks, and then uh, when we would get the uh, uh, fuel tank delivered, and uh, that was delivered in January, uh, the fuel tank, and then the trucks were equipped on the, during that same week. And uh, we tried it out, and it was a perfect time because we had a snowstorm. Uh, we went through about 1,000 gallons of uh, biofuel that first weekend, and the temperatures were, were cold. And we found that, uh, that everything performed extremely well. Uh, we didn't have one issue. The, the operators felt that the trucks operated to, uh, to the same performance levels that they expected, so it was very good. We actually started off um, with our pilot here and what we've done now this year uh, in our buy for our garbage trucks, our packers. Uh, we had 34 packers we were buying this year. We bought 17 of them, half of the fleet uh, that we're buying of new will come B100. You know, we're looking to be carbon neutral across all of our, everything that we do. 
Um, so we've got a zero waste plan uh, that's out there. Part of that is our emissions and what we're doing with our vehicles. As DPW owns the fleet for the city, uh, we're looking at all the technologies and things that we can invest in to reduce that footprint and, and get us down to that carbon neutral where we really want to be. And uh, so far, uh, B100 looks like it's the way to go for us for our, our garbage trucks. Um, we have some CNG garbage trucks out there, um, but this is a, a little bit easier for us to use and handle and work with, uh, especially for our mechanics and all that. So, as I said, at the end of the pilot, we moved half of our new fleet over to B100 uh, going forward for the foreseeable future until we um, until something else comes along that may be better, which I don't see on the horizon, we'll be sticking with the B100.